I accepted being chair of Match Day this year because for the last three years, working Match Day here at Emporia Community Foundation, I've really got a good feel for what we're doing and what we're trying to accomplish. It really fits our mission, um, connecting caring people with causes that um, help build a better community, stronger community. And I, I can't think of a better way to do that than helping these you know, smaller nonprofit organizations um, because most of them were created to um, assist our, their communities with um, the unique issues that come up in the community. Tell so, me, is the process to select the groups easy or is it difficult? I would say it's very difficult. There's always more t to select from than, than we have slots for. And it's very hard to not just want to help everybody. Yeah, so this year we had 38 applications, but we only have 25 slots. So um, it's difficult to narrow down to 25 when um, they're all wanting to help in the community. They're doing good work and can, could really benefit from Match Day. What's your favorite part of Match Day? Favorite part? Well, I'd have to say growing up giving, just because to see the children's faces and to see how hard they're working to try and figure out, you know, what they want to support. And, and then the concept behind that, helping, helping students understand why it's important to give. Yeah. yeah. So with growing up giving this year, we're going to have four schools involved, Chase County, North Lyon County, Timmerman, and Sacred Heart. You were, you helped enter the checks into the system last year. Right. Did anything surprise you when you were going through the donations and the, and the, and where they came from and the donations mm -hmm. that we received last year? You know, the one thing that struck me the most about the checks is that we were getting them from other states and not just from our local area. I think people who've moved away want to be able to still continue to support our community and it was really great to see that they were able to do that, especially since we um, have the online way for them to give as well now. So, What difference does it make to these groups? I think the benefit to these, to the groups and to our community is that not only are the groups able to increase the donations that they get every year, but they're able to get their name out there, they're able to, um, the community can find out about services that they may not have known about before because of the advertising that Match Day does. I think um, the behind the scenes work that the foundation does with the groups is really important. It's not it's not just setting up match days so that they can come in and get some donations. Um, the foundation works with them to help them set up social media, to um, help them find other ways to support their program, to get their word out so the community knows what's going on. And so I'm just really proud of the fact that, that we, the foundation does, that takes that extra step to help them. I think that allows them to be successful 364 days of the year as well as the one day that we have matched on. We really, we couldn't have match day without our matching donors and um, it's exciting to have six this year, well, seven this year, rather than just the five, but to have five that have regularly supported us over the years is pretty incredible that they've continued to stick with us. So this is the last year that we have funding for match day, um, but I know that being on the board of directors that this is really important um, for our community and for the foundation to support, so I know that they will vote to continue match day next year and, and years to come. On behalf of the board of directors and the match day committee, I would like to thank the greater Emporia area for their full support of our match day program every year. Thank you.